everybody, I'm Allie, and this is my YNR chat vlog for Sunday, November 15th, and Amber and Daniel had a surprise wedding this week, yay! Um, it was so much fun. Hey, forget hang gliding off of the top of the Chancellor Mansion. Isn't it every girl's dream to get married on a rooftop in November? <laughs> No, it was really, really cute. I totally enjoyed it. Um, we, of course, had some pre-wedding drama. Um, it really wouldn't even be Amber and Daniel unless there was some drama. Um, Daniel's still worried that he is going to go to jail over the whole Taroni situation or the murder, um, which is, you know, obviously a valid concern. But, you know, I, I just kept thinking, Daniel, why are you bringing this up? Why are you approaching it from a I can't marry you standpoint? You know, I mean, if you're worried about your... Uh, safety. I totally understand that. But really, if you and Amber love each other, nothing should stop you. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm glad that they eventually decided to get married. But I do, I worry about those two. I love them together, but um, they're just too volatile almost. I mean, there's always something wrong with them. They seem to break up over every single little disagreement they have or every single little thing. So let's hope that um, they can keep it together <laughs> this time because we definitely don't want to give Phyllis the satisfaction of being correct. Yeah, Phyllis was a real lunatic this week. <laughs> um, she was confronting Patty at the beginning of the week, which was a little bit scary. Patty sent a note to Summer, and you certainly can't blame Phyllis for confronting her, but she was right up in her face. It was a little bit scary. Um, and then, of course, Phyllis went to confront Deacon, got up in his face. I was really expecting him to get smacked again. And then, finally, Phyllis uh, doing her very, very best to try to thwart Daniel's efforts to marry Amber. Um, Phyllis's reaction during the ceremony was actually pretty hilarious. Lauren had to basically keep her hand over Phyllis's mouth to stop Phyllis from um, saying anything or shouting out during the ceremony. Um, but, I don't know, after Phyllis busted in uh, to the wedding on the rooftop saying in front of everyone that Daniel was making a huge mistake, Amber did a really good job of, um, of kind of qualming her fears or reassuring her um, that she was the best possible match for Daniel and that they were best friends, and there was a really good moment there uh, as Amber kind of explained herself to Phyllis. Um, you know, I think it's it's interesting that Phyllis is so hard on Amber because those two are not nearly as different as Phyllis would like to believe. The ceremony was awesome. Um, Catherine was the minister. <laughs> I loved that. It's really about time that Catherine became a minister, and I, I hereby request that Catherine uh, conduct all weddings in Genoa City from now on. Um, that was hilarious. Um, and of course, Murphy walked Amber down the aisle, and you know how I feel about Murphy, so it was nice to see that. Um, let's see. You know, Amber didn't really get the chance to design her dress as she had wanted to, which I was a little... Um, I was a little sad for her about. And, and I have to say, um, the dress that she picked was not something that I would have picked. Um, I'm curious to know your, 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 all of your thoughts on Amber's dress. Um, I didn't love it, but you know what? It's like Amber could wear a potato sack and she would look good. She totally pulled it off. Um, and really, I mean, everyone knows um, that couture goes very, very well with lawn chairs. And, of course, the whole thing ended with intrigue. Uh, we got to see the uh, wedding through the, the binocular eyes, and we know that somebody was watching. Um, and, of course, we saw from the previews of next week's show that Lauren is going to get a package addressed to her at Daniel and Amber's wedding, and she's going to open it up, and whatever's inside of it is going to be horrific. I can't even tell you. It can't be anybody but Sheila, y'all. It's got to be Sheila. Okay, because Ryder said to Deacon earlier in the week, so you're not going to go along with the plan to get at the Baldwins now. So, I mean, it just makes total, total sense because Sheila has it in for Lauren, has always had it in for Lauren. She has it in for Phyllis, too, because if you remember the last time we even saw Sheila, she was dressed as Phyllis, or I'm sorry, she looked like Phyllis. So, I mean, and somehow I think Daisy's gonna fit into this whole picture, but it really, I don't, I can't see how it could be anybody else but Sheila, y'all! And now Chloe and Chance are officially together. They're girlfriend, boyfriend. It's adorable. I love those two together. In fact, I really love those two together. Um, Paul was adorable this week. He was in Chance's room showing off his battle scars, and he was being all cute and adorable. Um, and actually, I think that Paul and Nina would make a really good couple, and I am all on board for that if that's where they want to go. Um, if, of course, we can peel Jill away from Paul. <laughs> 
Okay, so those are my thoughts for now, but I can't wait to hear what you guys are thinking, so please leave me a comment. I can't wait to hear all of your thoughts on the show, um, and I will be back next Sunday at the same time. If you want to check up on me um, before then, though, you can go to my website at buttonhead.org, and I also have a new YouTube channel um, that I started with a friend. It's a collaboration channel, and we do comedy uh, sketch videos. It's really funny, so um, if you like, it's not YNR related, but if you, uh, if you like to laugh, you should totally subscribe to that. So I'll put the link um, to all of this stuff in the sidebar so you can check it out and um, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!